Welcome to another one of my catch-up videos for the year 2018. Um, this weekend I decided not to go to any uh, new releases because I just I needed a break a bit, but luckily, you know, I had all of these other movies that I still need to get through from last year and a couple of ones that I missed this year. So, you know, I thought I'd just throw in a couple of these, starting with this one. And this one is The Mule. The Mule is directed by... Clint Eastwood, who also stars in the in the film as Earl Stone, who is a uh, horticulturist in his 90s, and the film is uh, based off of the real life story of one Leo Sharp, who was a World War II veteran who became a drug courier for the Sinaloa cartel, and we see a bit of Earl's life before he. Um, before his run-in with the cartel, and we get a glimpse of what led him to that job in the first place, and intersected with his story are glimpses at the DEA task force that is trying to narrow down uh, the cartel deliveries, and, you know, it shows them slowly uh, getting into a collision course with Earl. Now, I was, ex I was really excited about this movie since... Uh, the first trailer, um, you know, I just loved how haunting it was, and it gave me this particular shot of um, Clint Eastwood in his prime with this, with his acting in this movie, and it just made me shed a tear every single time because just I don't know the emotion that he was able to get just in that one shot. It was actually it was amazing, and this was just in the trailer. I hadn't seen it. Uh, before this point, and I basically thought going into this that this would be. A possible Oscar contender. Now we do know that it didn't get nominated for anything. I think people bas it basically came in the theater and people forgot about it. Now before I get into my actual thoughts on the video, I do have a couple of things. I have the normal disclaimer, a uh, reminder to subscribe, and then I got one more thing. So I'll go ahead and knock out those first two and then I'll explain uh, what the other th uh, thing is. So my normal disclaimer for those of the uninitiated, the way that I break down my thoughts on a film is I do a pro and con list. It helps me, um, it helps me compartmentalize uh, the good and the bad in a film, everything in my opinion. And, um, you know, I try to, while I try to keep the uh, sections separate, if I'm able to um, make a pro and con work off of each other, or maybe if they're intrinsically tied together, then I'll... I'll take advantage of that, but mostly I try to keep them separate. Also, uh, don't forget to s hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that, uh, you know, you can help s uh, keep supporting... Uh, I can't speak today. Um, just to help uh, support the channel and everything. So, the last thing is that I'm actually going to change things up a bit. I actually thought about doing this about a week ago, and I haven't started yet in any of my videos, so this is a good place to start it. So. I'm thinking that every time uh, before I actually get in my thoughts, I'm going to um, like do a a separate video, um, especially for the newer releases. I'm just going to go in and basically like I don't know, give my um, give my views on the movie going in, my excitement levels, things like that and then intercut it with the trailer, or at least trailer bits like I've been doing recently, and then getting into the thoughts. So I just wanted to throw that out just in case, I don't know. Like I said, this is going to be kind of an experiment on that, so I, I'd like to see how that goes. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into the review of The Mule. Family's the most important thing. Don't do what I did. I put work in front of family. I didn't deserve forgiveness. This is the last one. This is the last one. pros. So, obviously the biggest pro, Clint Eastwood gives another outstanding performance in this movie. It's actually one of my favorite performances from him thus far. But then again, did, did we really think that he wouldn't give a great performance? I mean, 
He's just, he's always amazing, and the character of Earl Stone, you love him immediately. He comes across as this sweet, sweet family man, but then things start to unfold, and you start seeing that while he is a good person, you, you see all of these terrible choices that he has made uh, throughout his life, and, it, you know, that he also begins to make throughout the film. And I know for me especially, I wondered, do I still love him or do I just pity him? And it was it was kind of interesting to see Eastwood play this sort of character. Uh, Eastwood has always come across as someone who doesn't care what anyone thinks, and I know in the past few years, and maybe even before then, a lot of his movies, he's kind of played that kind of person. Um, but, you know, with Earl, he shows this need for validation in general, not to mention that he's quite a ladies', a ladies man as well, which adds humor to the film. And the members uh, of that DEA task force do a great job as well. You have Bradley Cooper, Lawrence Fishburne, Mike Pena. I, d I do wish I had gotten a bit more in their heads during the screen time, but you don't really that much. You do get a little bit with uh, Bradley Cooper, but in the way that it was executed, it felt a bit more tacked on uh, unnaturally, and there's definitely a few things in the script that does feel tacked on. I did like the focus on uh, the consequences that are thrown at you, and, uh, and or the toil that you uh, take in life whenever you put work in front of everything else, because though Earl himself is not a celebrity, um, he does get a, he does get to enjoy a bit of notoriety within his community and his niche career field. And he happens to be an award winner in that career field. So, you know, whenever he shows up to conventions for horticulturalism, I don't know why, that feels like a tongue twister to me, or, you know, whatever the proper word is for that area, uh, people, um, you know, people flock for his products because he's so well known for his craft and the quality of his work. And with that notoriety, he has neglected his family, he's divorced, he misses his what? um, not wife, sorry, he misses his daughter's wedding early on in the film, and he even misses his granddaughter's wedding as well. Of course, the film isn't flashy, which I did, I did actually like that it didn't feel flashy. Eastwood tells this story in a very straightforward and realistic fashion, and I did get a kick out of it, but it does sadly, uh, lead to a negative that I had with the film as we get into the cons. Because of the film's straightforwardness, the story doesn't come across as very complex, but honestly, you can tell that it's meant to be there more for entertainment, so it doesn't really need to be complex. However, I did go in hoping for a bit of complexity, so maybe that's my fault. It never really seemed like Earl thought about what he was doing. He paid it no mind half the time, and he never really stopped to think about any of the consequences, and it just it didn't feel natural, especially once things started heating up. There's also this strange thing that I would notice um, about whenever Earl would interact with certain groups, uh, specifically minorities, and, you know, no spoilers, but he would say... He would sometimes say things or call certain minorities certain names when referring to them, and some of these words are those that could be considered insulting, but then when you really looked at it, it it could have been worse. But, I don't know, look at it this way. He, Like I said earlier, he's a legitimately friendly guy, but, you know, he would say a casual word that is not right to do at all in our society today, like it was more accepted back in his day. And for some reason, those people that he was talking to would just accept it they'd be like, oh, no, 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 you can't say that these days, it's not PC, and then he'd be like, oh, okay. But it just, I don't know, it came off weird because I know that many people in our day in this society would have yelled at the top of their lungs, at the very least, um, at him because of what he called them, or maybe uh, uh, assault him or try to kill him. Basically, I was expecting uh, the sort of, it's ma'am, not sir, sort of reaction, and I... I wrote that in my show notes to me mention that back when it was still a meme, so that shows how long I've been sitting on this. But, anyway, instead of, you know, instead of all of that, they just accept that it because he's older. I'm sorry, but it just didn't feel realistic or genuine to me. 
And those are my thoughts on the mule. I, in the end, I think that this was a movie that I feel is half and half. I did, I don't think that it was, you know, I don't think that it was worthy of being an awards contender for 2018, really, unless you count uh, Clint Eastwood's performance itself. But even then, I don't. Uh, it would have just been a basic uh, nomination, and he definitely wouldn't have won for this year. But anyway, I still think it was a good movie. I would recommend it to anybody specifically for his performance. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, like I asked earlier, uh, you know, to just keep up to date with everything that's going on on the channel and to just help uh, keep supporting us here at the channel. Um, yep. All that's left to say now is farewell until the next video, all you casual moviegoers and movie fans alike, and keep on being awesome.